This is your main event of the afternoon. Wolves make some noise! Introducing first in the blue corner with a record of four wins and six defeats. Weighing in the 77 kilograms. Representing London Grapple, Noah Lantes! And his opponent in the red corner with a record of 10 wins and two defeats. Weighing in at 77 kilograms, representing ABT and Team Lynch, Charlie Lynch Spence! Your referee in charge of the action, Stefan Jochen. Great atmosphere in here at the hangar in Wolverhampton for this, our main event of the Emma qualifiers here tonight. Noah Landers in the blue corner, Charlie Lynch Spence in the red corner here tonight. Fantastic matchup, both big guys, both super well-rounded MMA fighters at the amateur level. This is as good as it gets, Steve. Yeah, both these guys have loads of experience and both looking to represent their nation by the end of this. Lovely lead leg work already from Spence to the side, to the body, to the knees as well. Staying composed in there, both men showing it. Firing hard though is Landes. I think let's not forget as well, like there's we got multiple spaces on these national teams as well. Of we course. got first pick, second pick. You could come here and, and lose but still impress the team. Definitely. And still get a second slot. Definitely, and you know, Spence has already impressed. He represented last year. Landes is looking to do the same thing. And he's got a ton of experience behind him. We saw how fired he was coming into the cage. Right now, it's a real battle of range, using the weapons, timing the jab, and the leg kicks and head kicks from the outside. Spence chin is tucked nicely, trying to penetrate deep with that lead leg step. Nice left hook, blocked up by though. Yeah, Spence, he laid back there and threw the left hook quite tight. It was good reactions there. Spence is also throwing some heavy leg kicks as well. Yeah, real, real effortless nature to the striking of Spence. Landers trying to catch that teep as it comes up the middle, switching stances now as well. And Spence has switched stance to match him. Oh, lovely oh, wow. combination. Yeah, that was a great exchange on the inside. Again, on those inside exchanges, from three or four shots will really pay off. As I said here, before this one even started, the atmosphere here, super intense. Everyone just paying attention to these two men. But when something lands, you know it's going to erupt in here. Nice stiff arm retreat there oh. from Spence, covering distance. Also getting the better of that exchange and still tracking his man along the fence here. Yeah, Spence controlling the range and the fight at the moment. As I say that, Landers comes in and closes the distance and pins him up against the cage. Wasn't necessarily the best setup, but covered a lot of distance, didn't he? he? did, yeah. Spence nice. done a great job of reversing that, but landed a big shot as well. Yeah, uppercut was inches from the chin, right hand just whiffed. Landers doing a good job. Keeping his head in a swivel with that high kick comes up out of nowhere. And yeah, he can he's thrown it. that question mark kick a few times now, so he obviously, he obviously favours it. Great takedown there. Can he secure it? Great adjustment to, to start attacking, you know, the grappling and caught him by surprise. I think great finish, like you said, but now back to the feet is Landes trying to base out, stay strong. Back leg is still bent. Looks like the hands are still locked together as well for the Spence. Yeah, Landes done well to get his, get his feet underneath him, get his butt up in the air. Oh, Spence dragging, dragging him, him back down, though. This is, this is where it gets heavy, like wearing on your opponent, that body lock and pulling and pulling, it really wears on the legs. Spence looking very relaxed here in these positions, trying to conserve energy. Landers, obviously tons of grappling experience, six years of amateur MMA experience. He's been in this spot before, there's a nice frame into a right hand yeah, on the break. Spence really tried to tee off on that shot there, framed well with the left hand and then through the right. Long teeps there from Spence as well. Tried a little Sean O'Malley at the end there, a little spin into a head kick, but we go to a second round right here. And Man, this atmosphere, it is super tense. First round comes to a close there. It seems that Spence was the one moving forward. What did you think, Steve? Yeah, he, he controlled the cage well, and that's so important. That's, that's an experience thing. Like, a lot of the guys here today have done that very well, even some of the guys with less bout experience. But Spence definitely showing his experience there, controlling the range. Even being the shorter opponent, he's controlled the range. But he's also controlled the cage very well. Like he, he kept Landes' his back against the cage a lot of the time as he was in the striking exchanges. Yeah, Spence, I think, also someone who, he's got a lot of power, but I think that mainly comes from his technique, would you say, Steve? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I was never that guy. I was, I was always the explosive guy, and that's how I had to work. But some of the guys, like, you look at that question mark kick he's throwing. If that lands, it's going to hurt. 
100 percent all right here we go round two atmosphere still just as tense right here charlie lynch spence the 10 and 2 team lynch prospect went to the imfs last year wants to go again this year he's in the red corner no alandez there in the blue corner as we come out for another three minutes both men very very defensively sound with their striking you know they don't they don't commit unless they see the opening yeah spence there with the fake level changes keeping his opponent guessing Again, the footwork is great from both of these guys yep. as well. They're not flat-footed. They're both on their toes. They're both in and out. Landers again finding himself backed up to the fence. Tries to uh, cover some distance with a long lead hook. But Spence answers with his own. Puts him straight back where he was. Oh! And rotating into that head kick every time when he moves across the cage. Yeah, it, it was great circular motion there, and he led him straight into it. Shot there by uh, Landers. Again, trying to close the distance, but Spence reversing it, getting back into the center, controlling the range and controlling the cage. Yeah, and no matter which direction Landers goes, that left hook of that head kick is meeting him, having to now push forward, sticking behind that straight right. Lovely side kick right yeah, there. That looked... He switched into southpaw to throw that. Oh, that nice looked landed. like it hurt. Left hand, yeah, right hooks hurt. as well. Good job by Spence, capitalizing on that momentary weakness there from Landers. Showed a bit of discern after those body kicks and there's another one right to the bread basket yeah spence lo he, knows, oh. he knows that landed so he's going to look for it again oh he looks like he's with that right oh, hand oh phenomenal turns to the body head kick there lander still keeping the hands up but spence looks like he's moving in for the kill landed some really precise hard shots in the second round good patience there by spence he could have rushed in there but he's he's keeping it range and he's picking his opponent off fading back off that right cross conor mcgregor style doesn't throw the counter yet but spence is just biding his time there's a nice level change what do you think of that steve trying to mix it up yeah spence had a really wide stance there as well because he wanted that oh. side kick again oh man he got him straight back with that and just to show him and now leathering the shots into the chin man Lander's done well to take those shots and get back up onto his feet there. Yeah, lucky he didn't get trapped in that position. Good hustle from Landers. He was eating some big shots. And Spence just showing him, I can take you down. He tried to take me down, dumped him, and unloaded some great ground pounds. So we're seeing the well-roundedness of Charlie Lynch. Spence keeping his man against the cage here still, Steve. Yeah, Spence, do, <laughs> he's doing really well on the inside there, throwing lots of shots. Like, he's trying to win this match. Ooh, spinning Ooh. attack right there as well. And Might have caught an elbow Yeah, there. he has to be careful with the elbows. Oh, a hook kick. That was beautiful off the lead. Oh. Leg straight left as well as he fades back. Lovely accuracy and technique from Spence. The arsenal of shots that he's got. Man, that was perfect distance. Straight to the body now after his stance switch. And now goes back to Southpaw. Really making it difficult for Noah to know what's following up. Hands are low for Spence. You know that means he's feeling confident. Yeah, trying to put the left hand on the chin. He's controlling the cage well here. He's not rushing in. Look, he's keeping his distance. He's waiting for his moment. And if you're Noah here, you know, he's tried that takedown a few times. It looks like he might survive the last 10 seconds here. That's a big knee to the body. If you're Landers and you're trying to get these takedowns, Steve, what do you got to do against a guy like Spence? You've got, you've got to close the distance and you've got to use your strikes to set this up. Spence is expecting the takedown. Landers is being picked apart on the feet, so he knows his only option here is to shoot. He's going to shoot. So if Spence is controlling the range here, he knows he's going to see when it's coming. And that's exactly what he's doing. So Landers really needs to commit, just get in the pocket, throw some shots, and then die for the legs if that's what he wants. Some replays here. This was the big combination after he hurt him to the body. Sort of fired the left hand and then nailed him with a few shots against the cage. Landers did a good job. This is where he stuffs the takedown and I think maybe collects one of his own against the fence. No, looks like he knees to the body here. Big, hard left knee targeting that liver and then perhaps we'll also see these combinations but what do you make of those highlights yeah they were great and the, the hook kick that caught uh, landers oh. earlier that was phenomenal and again spence didn't rush in he took his time like is he worried does he really want to finish the match like is he worried if it goes three rounds he might be trying to get the experience in here for the rounds you know yeah you could definitely be right landers himself is a 10 fight veteran not often is Charlie going to get to come up against people with that kind of experience at the amateur level. Absolutely Where not. Charlie is now, he's fighting guys like that, but always, I'm sure you can relish that, especially a guy with six years of amateur experience under his belt. But we are down to this now. Third and final round, the last round of the night. Been cracking so far. And so far, Charlie Lynn Spence putting on a clinic. Yeah, Spencer's striking has been phenomenal tonight. Like The way he's used the, the kicks as well, the, the, the side kick, the turning back kick, it, it's caught him off guard and, it, it, and they've landed. Yeah, Spence doing a good job managing the distance. Parries away that right hand, digs a left hook to the body, gets a little chaotic there in the exchanges. Landers now circling to the left-hand side. But watch that right head kick. 
Yeah, look how Spence is switching stances and controlling, controlling the cage everywhere Landes goes. Yeah, just having a guy like Spence in front of you, inches away from that left hook, but that one lands Great there in the exchange. And he stepped back into the southpaw stance there to throw that. It's a chin. Oh, nice body kick right there, right under the elbow of Landers, who ate that one. Spence and really working the body here today. You've got to give credit to Landers at this point, man. He's been eating some big shots, Steve. Absolutely. Is it, those body shots aren't nice. I'd much rather get punched in the head. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, step back, left hand. Follows with beautiful. right hook as well. The timing on that. Stiff jab pushes him to the fence. Right hook, left hand. Now starting to put the combination together, Steve. Yeah, Spence not rushing in again like he's taking his time and he's picking him off. And another takedown. He has been mixing those in as well. Every time he gets those hands together. Look at this, Looking Steve. For a big dump here. Oh. Let's go with him. Oh, right hand there. Outside of that side kick. Almost caught himself a shot, did Spence. Seems like he's really good at reading exactly when Landis is going to commit to the offense. Yeah, absolutely. Just hit him with a nice straight right down the pipe here. Go, look, see that effortless transition into southpaw there as he circled. Landis trying to sneakily close the distance to set up his backhands. But Spence always pulling out and then ready to return with his own. Yeah, Spence is looking for that layback shot there. Like every time Landis throws, he lays back and then throws his own. And he doesn't take a full step, just puts the weight on the back foot, which is really nice work as well. Speaks to the technique of Spence, who's just continually crowding his man against the cage. Throws the right kick up there just to keep him honest. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. He's forcing him to shoot, but Landers isn't setting it up. So Spence is just waiting for the shot, knowing he's going to sprawl on him. Yeah, he's, he's, Landers is very stiff, and, and Spence is loose and flowy. He's waiting Ooh. for it. Nice team keeping his man against oh, the fence, wow, left straight, left right over the right hand there of Landers. He's landed so many of these shots that have just out, great accuracy, you know. Spence is throwing shots from both stances, southpaw and orthodox, and he's not just throwing single shots. Like a lot of guys, when they switch stances, they've only got one or two shots they can throw. Oh, oh double wow. jab right oh, hand, the combination, the ref has called it off. It will be a TKO victory for Charlie Lynch Spence with a beautiful right hand that absolutely nailed Landers. What a way to finish tonight. Man, it felt like he had that in his back pocket the whole time and he was just waiting for the perfect moment to set it up. Steve, let's see it on the replay. Boom. Oh, wow. Double jab right hand that set it up and just turned the wrist over perfect on the chin. I don't know if you heard it, but the, cor the corner shouting um, Spence to push the pressure now towards the end of the round. So maybe they were waiting. They wanted the time. They wanted to get the experience in. But like you said, it looked like he had it in the bag at any moment. Yeah, it felt comfortable with it. Had Landers in that straight line. He could only go backwards towards the fence right there and just nails him. Double jab, penetrate, boom, turns over the right. And I don't know if you've ever seen this man compete, Steve, but if you're if you're watching amateur MMA, you have to keep your eye on this guy. Yeah, no, absolutely. I have seen him compete in the past before. Um, I still got a lot of my guys on the amateur circuit, and he's he's doing he's been doing a great job. And and tonight, wow, that's a phenomenal performance. He kept the range perfectly, using his left hand to kind of frame to set up his right shots, the laybacks and the slips and the exchanges. He was throwing multiple shots when he was on the inside. The kicks were great as well. He threw up that question mark kick and it landed quite heavy. So, yeah, let's go to the... Such a fantastic prospect, it's always a pleasure to see you fight. Are you happy with that finish? Thank you. Yeah, it took a bit longer than I thought, but it's took it. Uh, old boys, Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. So you went to the IMAFs last year. How do you see things going for you if you get back there this year? Uh, gold, medals. Uh, I'm going there. I know what to work on. I'm going there again, plan to win. How much did you expect from your opponent on the feet in the grappling? What was the game plan going in tonight? I knew it was six striker, uh, so I just thought I'd just do everything to try to And were you looking for the finish the whole time, or just trying to get the rounds in? Yeah, I always look for the finish, any fight. 
Alright, now you've won gold in a lot of other competitions, not yet at the IMAPS. You're going there, I'm sure you are. Have you got a message for any of the competitors that might see this? Yeah, be ready. I'm coming. He's coming, you're winner everybody, Charlie Lynch Fetch. Congratulations.